Yes, greetings, family. Um, greetings. I just want to say that uh, I'm just soaking in, soaking up, and, and hearing all of this wisdom. <laughs> this wisdom that's coming from Saz, that's coming from Stephanie, and many of you uh, that are speaking. So I'm just. I'm just taking it all in, but in regards to the uh, the affirmation today about um, saying I am African, yes, I have been saying that forever. And when I say it to people back in the states, especially like you know, if somebody will ask me, "Oh, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Africa. Where are you? Everywhere." For me, it's everywhere. That's good. I do because yeah. our people were first, and we were everywhere. Yeah. So people. That's you know right. what I mean? So for me, saying I'm African, it's not even it's not even a thought about it. Yeah. You know, to try to say like, oh, you from the United States? No, I'm from Africa. Yes. And I claim it, plain and simple. You know. So yes. I just wanted to say that. Uh, God bless you. Oh, no, my sister, my yes, sister. Yes, the wisdom that comes from you. You just like you said, words have power. And you're when you're speaking words, just like you was doing just now, you feel it. You feel the energy, and I appreciate you. Oh, I, I just appreciate want to say, you. I received that acknowledgement. I love you, right? <laughs> All right. It's my sister Hadia family, and here's the thing about being so acknowledged. You know, we we it was so generous of you. Something that oftentimes family, <laughs> especially in the bounds of North America that we don't take the time to do. You see, and it means a lot. My life has been about this. I will be 66, December 6th. I'll give you a little bit about Sass. I didn't introduce myself yesterday. You really don't know me. You've just been seeing me have a good time. And I'm going to have a good time. Because Sass likes to have fun and get things done. I'm not just having fun out of living. If you're not having fun, I kind of get a little worried about you. Really, because we're like, that's one of the ways I know. Become as a little child. That's why my daughter and I, we roll because she's seven. And I'm seven when I'm with her. I can be with somebody 103. And I'll be getting that 103 wisdom. I'll be 103 too. That's how that, that's how that, that's what you acknowledge come. I sit with my elders. My classroom in Atlanta, Georgia, where I am a professional calligrapher, self-taught, many, many, many years. It's my ministry of the written word. See, I'm a scribe. I am a, a, a writer. And uh, there's some things that just don't disappear, just like in the temples of ancient Kemet, where I've been. My high priestess name is High Priestess Seshat, S-E-S-H-A-T, and she is the counterpart of Jehudi. Now, most of us who study ancient Kemetic or Nile Valley civilization, we know Jehudi. Jehudi, Jehudi, Jehudi. Yeah, it's spelled many different ways. But that is the messenger, the communicator, the scribe, the high priestess, yeah. And Seishat is the keeper of the record. That's why it's written. And that's why you can still see it in Abydos. Yeah, but long story short, um, I told you my age because it's, it's relative. I am an elder. I, I do, I have a Medicare card, I'm so glad. You get it at 65, for those of you who don't know. You get to collect your social security, your social insecurity, at 62, which I have been since 62. I've always had my own business. I'm an entrepreneur, not just an entrepreneur. It all comes from within. The words are powerful. I make them up, they work for me. I began the word. I laid the foundations of the temples that all the high priests and priestesses came into. In Hotep, the time. Absolutely. Yeah. And the Nile Valley, thanks to Nana Bafua. I pour libation now for Nana Bafua, Dr. Asa Hilliard, Dr. Ben, Dr. John Henry Clark. You know, those, those Dr. Francis Chris Wellesley. Those are my teachers, you know. And I honor them. 
I honor what they taught me and I, I'm going to really live out of some of that. So when you acknowledge that idea that there was some wisdom or something that you gleaned from your sister, that that's worth its weight in gold for me. And thank you for um, sharing that, I'm still taking it in. But um, <clears throat> I'm originally a Midwesterner, even though I live in Atlanta, I tell folks, I, I wasn't born down south, okay? I wasn't born in New York, but I was born near the big city of Chicago. I'm from Kankakee, Illinois. It's an indigenous name. It's Native Americans are all in Illinois, which is the Iroquois state. So if you want to hear Native names, come to Illinois. It's not Illinois, even though there's an S on it. It's Illinois. Like Des Moines, Iowa. It ain't Des Moines, it's Des Moines. So, and the founder of Chicago was founded by a black man, Jean Baptiste Point du Sabo. Du Sabo High School. No Chi Town folks on the bus? I'm representing for Chi Town. Yeah, so Chicago was founded by a black man. CB Wonder says it in the song early. His name is Jean Baptiste Point du Sabo. And they have the great Du Sabo High School. So I grew up uh, doing, the, doing the black power movement. I'm straight up black power. 68? Come on, talk to me. 69? I came out of high school in 70. Come on, y'all. Yeah, 68. That's when they were shooting my brothers down. Mark, Fred Hampton, Mark Clark. So, yeah, I'm a soldier. You know what, Cobra? Okay. Yeah. Just much like Tupac's mom, sister, uh, yeah, Afini Shakur. That's my twin. Absolutely. And I love that. I love Tupac. I love everybody. I love like, okay. But that's a little bit about me. Um, currently, I've been married twice, happily twice. Uh, first marriage was, uh, I was 30, over 30, and it was good. Both of them were Georgia men, Sandersville and up the road in Carroll. Um, one, the first one, three years, no, no surviving children. And the next one, I was blessed to have my first daughter when I was 41 years young. 41. Yeah, 41. And, uh, and she's 25 now. Her name is Niaya. N I, capital A Y A. And it means the light has come to replace the darkness. I was in India in 1988 studying meditation and higher states of consciousness. Nadi Vikyan, which is diagnosed from the touch of the pulse. And I was also studying Jyotish, which is Hindu astrology. Um, that was the last time I was out of the country for three months, Dr. Sharita, other than this time, two and a half months. Cape Town, longer. Cape Town, we lived in Cape Town, South Africa. Um, and my second marriage, King Man, he's my friend, he's in right outside of Cleveland, Ohio, happily divorced him and remained friends. I initiated, we agreed, the three of us, Niaya was there with uh, all of our terms. So we're African people who've done things our way. Like I say, when I had, uh, we had Niaya, I was 41, but my king man was 43. Now I know some of you are saying, you was 41 and you had a baby. I'm like, yeah, midwife, natural, no stretch marks to this day and you'll see it when we get to the waterfalls because I, I have a bikini i absolutely do and good morning excuse me oh yeah oh yeah but i gotta say that because as an elder and a, uh, a sister since i've been coming to ghana with bamani and after for the africans like i said this is trip number six with bamani my, I, I've grown to love every, every aspect of my African self again. Again, it was a season and a time in the environment of people I was around in Washington, D.C. for five years in Maryland or Chocolate City or whatever, and you know, cultivating mastermind groups of my own, that it was easy to just love my body and love every aspect of my being, every cell, every atom, all the tissue, all the fiber, all the blood. You know, that's just part of who we bring. And uh, somewhere along the line, 
you can kind of lose a little sight of self as a soldier, as, you know, servant to others, as a minister, as a priest, as whatever. But what I finally got was, like they say, it's just like, you know, I'm a Sagittarius, okay? I gotta break it down. December 6th. Sagittarius with an Aries moon. Straight up warrior. Athlete like Dr. Sharita. I was a sprinter in high school. I was just a little before Wilma Rudolph and all those other people that won the gold medals because, but I, I was just very strong, like tomboy strong, okay? Like these muscles that you see right now strong, okay? And so you, you tend to just begin to accept every aspect of you. And it's not about age, it's about consciousness. Because I say there's no age in spirit, but I am in a body. And I've been rotating in this body for a while. And it's like, if I do have wisdom available, like you said, my sister Hadia, then hopefully it can display so our children can see it and it just won't be just talk. Somebody say, dang, you're 65. I'm like, yeah, you're, you look good. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You single, I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, but you know, I just, I like to, I like to have fun. So I, I want you to have fun. It's contagious. So I teach calligraphy in Atlanta up until the time which I said I would not teach it. And so I just took off. So I'm not teaching it anymore because I don't have to do it. I choose to do it and sometimes I don't choose to do it. So, so you left the plantation? I left the plantation. Thank you, Bamani. I think you influenced it. <laughs> I did leave the plantation. And now I'm on this new destination. You see? Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm ready to come to the village of home. And those that wants to join us can. And Bomani is kind of cult he's cultivating the space. You didn't touch him on. And I've been to this place before, you all. Once before, the Bonohafa region of Techuma. But um, it wasn't last year, it was the year before. And I had a wonderful spiritual experience here in the waterfalls. You may have seen it uh, uh, on uh, YouTube. Ross Oprah, you may have seen it on YouTube, but it, it's this area a year and a half ago, and I'm just gonna say this, and if you have any questions about anything or about Mama Sass, I'm very open and available to you. You see, sometimes some people manage things well, and some the thing you manage well, somebody may be having the toughest time with. And that's where, we, that's where this unity come in, because you've got this sense now of where different, family members' gift sets are, and we can be of maximum value to each other ongoingly. The folks I've met on these journeys of lifetimes, they're my family. I call them the Holy Royal Family. They're my friends. That's where I get my friends from. Why? Because we have Pan-Africanism in common. That's why. For me, I like to be a part of communities and groups of like-minded people, not like you're gonna be the same people. No, we're all unique. But the commonality with this family is that we're sharing a very historical and beautiful experience that's never gonna go away. You see, and I, that's acknowledging you all before I take my seat because whatever you did to get to this place called now, we wanted just to improve and get better better and better each day in every way. I want your best to keep getting better and better, Stephen. And every one of you. And that's why I'm here. So and really, if I can assist you in any way, personally, professionally, or with your family, like just like Sir Sharita and Stephanie and everybody on the bus, but there's some of us who are actually elders. And Stephanie's my twin. And she's the elder. I'm, a, I'm the little baby sister, just like a few months away. But hey, I got to tell you. She don't mind. In other words, we have experience that you may not know of, and we can't tell it all to you. But I did want to give you a little bit about me beyond just dance and jump around, party, and have a good time. That's going to continue to the best of my ability. However, yeah, I like to do that. That's a sad, Jupiter thing. But in the midst of that, there may be some sprays of enlightenment. There may be some things on the spiritual nature that you may glean. There may just be some things that you have questions about in Kobina and our staff. They may 
help you to understand some things that your intellect may not have grown to yet. And that's what we're available for, okay? I have a great interest in traditional African healing systems. I have for a long time. And uh, I think for now, that's about mainly it. I do have some of my calligraphy with me. Uh, they're called frameables. They're eight and a half by 11 parchment papers. I manufacture into scroll products when I have the time. <laughs> and uh, I love to share them with you at the appropriate time so you can ask me about them. They're words of wisdom from our ancestors. They're scriptures. They're anything positive that will help the mind medicine. We've been so traumatized, so traumatized through po the post-trauma of slavery. And so these are some of the ways I call it mind medicine. It's jacked up here in the head and the body and the spirit takes it there. So I have to deal with the, the mind and I do it through the written word. Just like what I'm doing when I speak these affirmations, Yolanda. Huh? Yeah. That, yeah, I know you do. I, I, I got you. Yeah. But yeah, when I speak them like that, then they, they help me and hopefully they help you too, okay? So any questions, comments, I'm available, and I thank you for your generous listing, and I certainly thank Bomani for entrusting me, being my friend, and checking on Mother Sass, and, and, and really family working with, working with me. I, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't enjoying and learning and growing and evolving and fulfilling my destiny. If, and, and if life purpose, if you don't know, uh, or you're not clear, or you have questions around why you're here or what you're supposed to be doing. Some people call it destiny or life purpose. I call it your divine design for your life. So we all made a sacred agreement, sacred contract type of thing before we jumped into these bodies. And I'll, I'll, I think that we feel good when we're moving in the direction of fulfillment of that, much like what Bamani's doing. Definitely like what Dr. Sharita's is doing. You know? legacy keeping in the family like that. So get some good rest and sleep. And if you have a question or anything, you can I'll, you can do that too. But uh, I love y'all. I love myself. And uh, keep that mirror there. That's why I say my sister myself. My brother myself. But my my brother myself. Cobina's my brother. There's no self outside of yourself. And so I'm trying to be the best self I can be so that our reflection will be clear. Madasi Papa. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too.